Would you like to get PS5 games at a cheaper rate than your local retail price? Well, stick around because I'll be giving tips on how to get the best deals possible from the PlayStation Store. But first, roll the intro. Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbomb. I'm a gamer from the Philippines and the tips that I'll be sharing will be from a standpoint of a Filipino PS5 or PS4 owner. These tips would still apply to my other international viewers, but the currency which I'll be using primarily for this video will be in Philippine pesos. While exchange rates vary from day to day, I'll be using the exchange rates for today, which is 1 US dollar equal to 53.66 pesos. Rounded off, that's 54 pesos. Now, just as a background, especially to those first-timers to the PlayStation Store, the Philippines is not listed as an available country when you create your PSN ID. Based on local Facebook communities, the top three countries being chosen when creating PSN accounts in the Philippines are the US, Singapore, and Hong Kong because those are the regions of the physical game copies sold at our local retailers, primarily Data Blitz, Game Extreme, Game One PH, Toys R Us, and Toy Kingdom. People tend to choose these regions to avail the DLC codes of their physical games, and because the gift cards of PSN credits and PS Plus subscriptions are available for these three regions. You can actually create three or more PSN profiles on your PS5 with varying regions, and play these games bought from these different PlayStation stores on your main account. This is actually good if you're a trophy hunter for your games. Anyway, creating a PSN account where digital games are sold cheap would be our main course of action. But which region is recommended and how can you buy games from its PlayStation Store? Turkey is actually the cheapest out of all the regions, but you can only use Turkish credit cards to buy from its PlayStation Store. Unfortunately, no PSN credits or gift cards from Turkey are being sold online. Something that is more accessible though would be rotating between India, Indonesia and the US instead of Singapore and Hong Kong. Let's make a comparison starting with the game with its launch price, meaning there isn't any discount. Here's Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is a 70 US dollar game. Converted to peso, that's 3,755.85 pesos. For Turkey, it's 899 Turkish lira, which is equal to 2,563 pesos. That's a 1,193 peso or 22 US dollar difference. Unfortunately, we can't buy games from this region using our local credit cards or even through PSN gift cards. So how do other regions compare? For Singapore, Hogwarts Legacy is 100.43 SGD, which is 4,071.15 pesos. For Hong Kong, it's 549 Hong Kong dollars or 3,753.46 pesos. For Indonesia, it's 990,000 Indonesian rupiah or 3,518.94 pesos. And for India, it's 4,399 Indian rupees or 2,861.24 pesos. Here's a look at the pricing of the different regions side by side for reference. Now let's take a look at a $60 game like Resident Evil 4 Remake. RE4 is $60 US dollars or 3,219.30 pesos. For Singapore, it's 81.76 SGD or 3,314.32 pesos. For Hong Kong, it's 438 HKD or 2,994.56 pesos. For Indonesia, it's 831,000 Indonesian rupiah or 2,953.78 pesos. And for India, it's 3,999 Indian rupees or 2,601 pesos. By reference, RE4 is 699 Turkish liras in Turkey or 1,992.83 pesos. Again, here's a look at the pricing of the different regions side by side for reference. Now, based on experience for Singapore, Hong Kong, and Indonesia, you can just use your local Philippine credit cards. I've experienced using BPI and BDO. But for US and India, I use PSN codes from CGN.com. So I'm definitely interested in getting the deluxe version of Hogwarts Legacy because it has a PS4 and PS5 versions of the game. Meaning I could game share this account with a different PS4 owner and we'd be able to play these different versions of the game at the same time. 
Now, the price of Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition at the Singapore store is 119.71 SGD, which is equal to 4,852.70 pesos. I can just use a local credit card, or I can just take a look at the Indian store first and see that the deluxe version is 5,299 Indian rupees. That's 3,446.63 pesos. Now, to purchase credits, I go to CGM.com search for PlayStation Network cards, and you'll have a list of all the regions they have for sale. We can choose India, and we can choose from the different denominations. Since this is 5,299 Indian rupees, I can just add the 4,500 denomination to our cart, and the 1,000 denomination as well. Now, if we proceed to our cart, we can just press checkout then you can just choose from the different payment options. For Filipinos without credit cards, you can choose GCash, and you'll see that there's a very minimal processing fee. But at 3,903 pesos, that's already a 949 peso difference from Singapore. Just pay now and you'll be redirected to the GCash portal. Once paid, just go to your account, My Cards, then you'll see the different cards you've purchased. Click Show Card, then just copy the code to your PS5 or PS4's PlayStation Store. Of course, I've already used this off screen, so this code shouldn't work already. Going to our PS5, you'd see that I've now purchased Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition using the PSN credits. If we just go back to our main PS Store menu, you'll see that the currency is in Indian rupees. Now, after purchase, I can just switch back to my main US or R1 account and play the game from there. Of course, this is to earn trophies in my main account. This is useful, especially if you're a trophy hunter. But basically, that is how I save and get games cheap from the PlayStation Store. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Then hit on that notification bell for more video game related content just like this. Again, I'm Zach, and this is GG Fist Pump.